This is a Pilots and Paws airplane just landing at Essex County Airport. They're a network of about 200 registered pilots nationwide that donate time, money, and airplanes to help provide transport for animal rescue groups. Today, this pilot is transporting a very unique dog. You might even call him a miracle. This 20-pound beagle's life was supposed to end at an animal control office gas chamber in Florence, Alabama. But instead, something amazing happened. So they put uh, 18 dogs in the gas chamber that day, turned on the gas, and when it was all said and done, Daniel the beagle was still alive. For some unknown reason, he, when they opened up the gas chamber door, he walked out with his tail wagging and they decided to let him live. The fact that he survived is amazing. It's just sad that that's how they're euthanized every day. And he deserved to live, and it took a couple of us to make sure he did. It's a one in a million shot that a dog will survive the gas chamber. And we knew we had to help him, and hopefully, you know, we can make him a poster child for anti-gassing campaign. He, he has to have been saved for a greater purpose, and I think he's going to be responsible for other lives being saved as well. You're gonna come home. Jill Pavlik from 11th Hour Rescue will be Daniel's foster. It's her responsibility now to find the right home for this very lucky dog. I'm a foster parent all the time, so and my last foster got adopted three weeks ago, so we were open, and I offered to take him. And finding the right home is not always that easy because of the dog's celebrity status. You know, it's always, a lot of people are going to want them because of the story, and we just need to make sure it's the right place. We're not just going to let them go to anybody. I'm a very tough foster mom. <laughs> Apparently, there's been no ill effects from the carbon monoxide gas. For the most part, he's been given a clean bill of health. One in a million, maybe, maybe. And with no after effects. The dog's perfect. He's skinny, but he's perfect. So for now, Daniel will remain in Jill's home with her other dogs, Ty and Daisy. <laughs> And judging by how well he's getting along with them, it looks like it's going to work out pretty well. Immediately, he, this was like he always lived here. He walked in, he was very comfortable, sniffing around the yard where many dogs have been. And uh, he's having a good oh, time stop. with his brother. Stop, stop, stop. He fit stop, right in stop. with the other dogs playing, which was good. He wasn't afraid of them. And he wasn't aggressive towards them. They weren't aggressive towards him. So it was good. It's always emotional. All of our dogs were on death row, every one of them. So he's, I mean, he's the only one that has walked out of the gas chamber, but every one of our dogs from 11th hour have had a date with death, but we pull as many as we possibly can to save them. To help them get that second chance and get a forever home is just a, a really good thing. And when they leave here and you see the family that they're going to and how happy that family is, you know, it, it makes you feel good. It's great. I mean, you know, we just love it. It means a lot to us to, to save a life.